four lawsuits, as you mentioned, and maybe there'll be others. We don't know. But it certainly helps them on the legal front. But I think on the NFL front, the upside isn't so clear, just because this has been going on a while. If the settlements had been reached a long time ago, maybe a different story, but it may be too late. Chris Carlin on what his suspension should be. I still believe this should be a year. I'm still on the on the thought that right now Deshaun Watson has finally done something that frankly should have been done a while ago. And I'm not going to all of a sudden pat him on the back for doing it now. If, if it, It's not just about settling. It's about the wrongdoing that has happened through all this. And, and settling, while I'm sure there's going to be no admission of guilt in any of it, there's still a major issue with the volume, with the amount of people that have been involved in this, and with the league's continued push towards showing how much they care about their female fans. Now Deshaun Watson's story is sure to be part of the conversation with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max this morning. Dan Graziano joins the show at 645 Eastern. Jeff Saturday at 830. Robert Griffin the third at 930 Eastern. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max every weekday morning, 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPN News. And they're sure to be talking about this as well. Four-time All-Pro tight end Rob Gronkowski has announced he is retiring and won't join Tom Brady for a third season in Tampa Bay, the four-time Super Bowl champ of the Patriots and Buccaneers, thanked his teammates and coaches over the years in a post on Instagram and said he is going to be chilling out. Freddie Coleman on a player who can move forward without football. When you've been synonymous with your sport, it can be a very scary proposition when a September is going to roll around. And you're not a part of that. You're not a part of that game. You're not getting your scratch in when it comes to the NFL. I said that about Brett Favre because for somebody that played football since he was eight years of age, it can't be easy to say, what am I going to do now to replicate something like that? Rob Gronkowski has been replicating that throughout his NFL career. <laughs> it's not going to bother a guy as much as, for example, Tom Brady. Rob Gronkowski is always, when he got up in the morning, I guarantee Rob Gronkowski said, it's good to be me. This is fantastic, whatever that's going to be. Certain guys can live without football, and certain guys can't. I never got the instant that Rob Gronkowski needed football to right. live or to be right. satisfied. Yeah, that's a fair take. The 33-year-old retired in 2019 after nine seasons with the Patriots. He returned in 2020 when Brady went to Tampa. They teamed up to help the Bucks win a Super Bowl in 2021. He has 621 career catches, 9,286 yards, and 92 touchdowns in the regular season. 98 receptions, 1,389 yards, and 15 touchdowns in the postseason. Athletic Bucks reporter Greg Allman on the possibility that the Bucks weren't expecting this. A lot of people thought they might um, be the first team to draft a tight end in the draft. And the second round kind of came and went, third round came and went. Um, and Kate Otten's still one of the best tight ends in the draft, but it didn't seem like that immediate urgency, we're going to make this plan B and, and get a tight end that will help us whether or not Gronk is there. So I, I thought at that point it felt like maybe they were at least hopeful that he'd be back and playing for him. Um, so to that extent, I don't think you're getting blindsided at all. I mean, this is this is almost July, and the guy hadn't re-signed. So you had to be at least allowing for the strong possibility that he might decide enough is enough and, and then actually retire this time. And yeah, Marcus Spears on how Gronk will be missed beyond what he does on the field. Do you know what these guys do for a locker room mm -hmm. when it gets monotonous in training camp, when it gets monotonous throughout the season? And I know everybody believes that every NFL player is excited and just over the moon to play every Sunday. Well, y'all know I keep it honest. Let's tell the truth. No, we not. <laughs> Bodies hurt, mindset, you're tired, you probably suffered a last loss. You got to get yourself ready to go. And there are always guys in the locker room that can lighten the load with their personalities. They can lighten the load with joking and how they get about doing things. I've always thought that that was an important component to really good football teams and that's something else that I've heard and known about Grump since he played in the league. How much other guys gravitated to the personality and allowed themselves to kind of have a good time playing the game. You're listening to Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. I'm Jim Basquell. Brooks Kepka, the latest piece PGA Tour player to sign on with the Saudi-backed Live Golf Series. He's won four majors, was one of
one of the first players to denounce the idea of guaranteed money and limited fields. Kepko, who has withdrawn from this week's Travelers Championship, joins Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau, and others in committing to the Saudi back series. U.S. Open winner Matt Fitzpatrick asked about Kepka and others going to live. Yeah, it's interesting. There's certainly a split at the minute. I constantly go back to the, the two sort of quotes I've seen from Tiger and Rory over the last few weeks about legacy and, and history and achieving uh, and winning tournaments. And, and for me, that's the route that I want to go down. For me, that's the best place to play is the DP World Tour and the PGA Tour and, and the...